Hi everyone, this is my second video of the day and it is the polishes I love and hate. This, or love or hate, this can be because the brand, the colour, the durability, all sorts of reasons. I'm going to go through a couple um, and just warn you or warn you off them or make you love them really. Um, so first up I have the bourgeois or bourgeois, I just, I don't know how to say it, that's just, how, that's just who I am, I just can't pronounce things. Um, and it's the anti-chips, well no chips, it's in French so bear with me, um, 10 days, yeah that's all I can really get off that, and it's in shade 14, whatever colour that may be, um, it's this pink with sort of a, you're not going to be able to see, which is really annoying, um, because it only decides to do it in the light, but it is, um, oh, yeah, you can sort of see the shimmer there, maybe. Um, it's gold pinky shimmer. Um, ten days, no, no, no. Two days, um, and it's super sheer. It takes about three coats, even with a really good OPI um, designer collection series, whatever. Top coat, chips, so no, that's a no-go. These are um, in the pound shop, whatever. Um, yeah, they're normally 5 99 I would not pay that. Um, next up, these are normally 10 99 The only reason I'm saying the price is obviously because if you like a colour, then you know how much it's going to be. Um, I'm not saying, oh look, these are 10 99 or 9 99 £10. Pounds. Um, and they're crap, because obviously I look a moron to spend that money. Um, but anyway, these are the Bella, Bella Perrier um, nail polishes. These didn't come together, these are just two random colours. And one is in Orange Blossom. And one's in Glitter Surprise, which is... <laughs> oops. <laughs> nearly broke it then. Which is so not an original original name. And this is like a Christmas glitter. Gold. It's got gold, um, green and red. Um, I don't like it at all. Um, it's super, super sheer. Not much glitter comes out. About three coats and it cheats a few days after. This is alright if there's a glitter top coat on top of it. If not, it chips within two days. And it's really sheer. Um, and I don't like the brushes either, they're really really thin um, so they're a no-go next I've got the newish I say newish because um, well these are not really new anymore but when I got it it was new and it's the China Glaze Holographic Get Out of My Space um, yeah I got this from beyondpolish.com again which is an international nail polish shipping site, shipping to the UK um, I've done a blog on that because there's some iffy bits about it so I've done a blog post so please check that out I've had so many people looking on it looking on it um, and it shed some light on what happened to Trendy Hands which is actually the same website anyway um, and the reason I don't like this is because it's very very sheer you can't really see the holographicness unless it's in the light it takes about three coats and it chips straight away so no 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 and I think that's 7 99 Next up, which needs shaking, but I'm not going to shake you. Well, I'm not going to shake this because then I'll shake you and then everything will be shaking. It's the Avon Matte Nail Polishes and these are £6. And this is in Violetta. For some reason, I like my other um, camera. This one doesn't zoom. Um, so I'll just sort of have to whack it in there for you to see. And I don't think you can see that because it's totally small. But anyway, um, this chips the next day because obviously it's matte. You're not meant to put a top coat. And um, Avon nail polishes are quite good, but not that good. So it chips the next day or the same day. Next up is obviously a discontinued um, Revlon in lilac pastel or pastel. And um, it's a very pretty sort of colour. But when you put it on the nails, it sort of comes out like a neon -y pink. It's really rather weird. A neon baby pink. Um, I don't like this because I applied two coats. It felt dry. The next thing you know, it's all scuffed everywhere. Um, and I sort of gave up using that. So, And it's really, really running. I don't like that. I love the colour though, but I don't like it for the durability. Most of these are the same reason. I like the colour, but I don't like the durability. Um... So next up is the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear in Very Cherry. Um, and it's like a red and silver glitter. 
It's not duochrome. Um, this didn't. Ha this had real trouble drying. Real trouble. Um, just one coat. It took like two hours. Um, I don't know. It's because something's gone funny in it. Because obviously these are discontinued. Um, and it sort of came out brown on the nails. I did not like it at all. Next up, I've got the Diamond Strength um, by Sally Hansen, and this is Pink Promise. It's a super, super glitter colour, and I picked this up because it's like the OPI um, Pedal Faster Susie or something like that, um, and obviously it's a lot cheaper. Um, it's very, very sheer though, and the colour in the bottle is not what comes out on the nails. On the nails, it sort of comes out of a silvery sort of colour. Um, very, very, very sheer. Normally these diamond strength last a long, long time, um, over a week um, in some cases that I've experienced. This chipped a few days after. Next up, now this is not for the colour, this is the whole range. The OPI nail shatters, I didn't actually get this from Poland, by the way, but I have got some from Poland. Um, they're very weird, they're very, very sheer, the colour's sheer when it shatters, because obviously you're meant to do one coat. It's very, very sheer, it chips, it smells funny, I don't like them. Next up is the Polka Dots from Maybelline Colour Show. Now this is so, it's a gel, um, and it's so beautiful on the nails. Um, I used it as a top coat, because um, it is quite sheer without it, um, but it chipped the next day. So, yeah, I don't really like, um, sort of... Revlon, Maybelline, L'Oreal polishes never last long. Well, not in my case anyway. But I still buy them because they come out with some really nice colours. Um, this Ezzy is in Snap Happy and this is from the 2012 Christmas Collection. Um, on my toes this lasts for about two weeks and not even chipping. On my nails it chips like the second day. Um, and this colour is very, very sheer. Um, it takes about four coats for it to get at this opaque. Um, so kind of a disappointment. Next up is the Glam FX um, Orly, which came out the last year, or early, yeah, last year. These are from the two different collections, because there was two different ones, the newer range and the older range. Um, this one is the newer one, Sunglasses at Night, and then this one is Be Brave, which is the older collection. Um, these are very, very sheer, and not a lot of glitter strands come out. As you can see, it's mostly just sheer polish, um, not a lot of glitter strands come out, you have to do about four coats. Um, it doesn't dry that quick and it doesn't last long at all so I don't like these next up is the Mavala or however you say it Portillo, Portillo or whatever that says um, this is super 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 sheer um, and chips the next day and you need like 5 coats next up is the Orly I normally do like Orly's um, this is from the Romance Collection in Pollute to a Kiss um, two coats and it's opaque but it chipped the next day and it was very very flaky like you know when the whole polish just flakes off your finger that's what that did um, and nails ink I don't really like them I have loads but they're really really sheer um, it doesn't last long it just chips flakes off um, I really don't like them I don't know how they're even that good um, and it's in St James and it's just like a red so yeah so that was the nail polishes I love hate. Please um, show your support, give feedback, anything. Please check out my blog, please like and subscribe. Um, I can't wait to do a giveaway, so the more subscribers, the more chance for giveaway. Um, so yeah, and I'll see you in my next video. And please comment and tell me any videos you want to see or anything like that. Okay, see you later guys, thanks for watching, bye.